Hello, welcome to Soundbridge. In this video, we wanted to go over some of the new features that we're introducing in Soundbridge 2.3.2. The first and I think the most useful feature I wanted to talk about was the MIDI mapping being improved. Now, first off, let me go into preferences. And right there, you can see amongst my MIDI devices, I have this Arturia Keylab, that's my MIDI controller. And I basically have it twice. So once I connect that over USB, it detects two different MIDI devices. One of those is used for transmitting the notes and all the faders and all the knobs, pads as well. But the other one is used for transmitting all those special keys, like the transport bar, play, stop, record, loop, all of those. So now I want to enable both of those and I'll enable the outputs as well right here. I'll click OK. So I have made a new MIDI track that has an instrument on it. And now when I try to use those stop and play buttons, you can see that I'm actually transmitting notes. So those do transmit notes, but from that other device that's actually also active. So since right here, I'm using as an input all MIDI devices and all channels from them, that device as you can see it right here, that MIDI in 2 from Arturia Keylab Essential, that one is just as well being used. So in order for that not to happen, not to transmit those special keys, the play, stop, record, and a bunch of others, I can go back into my preferences, and right here in the MIDI tab, I can disable that device from being included in that all selection. So now I can go to my MIDI mapping. When I actually try those play, stop, and record buttons, you can see they transmit, but they don't actually trigger any notes on this track, which is great. That's exactly what I wanted. So I will add a new lane right here, select Soundbridge, and you can also search all of these tracks. So that's one new thing we added that's really great. It really makes it easier. And right here, I'm gonna search for play, and you can see toggle playback. That's exactly what I want, since on my keyboard, the play button is also a pause button. Now I want to learn and I'm going to press that button and that's it just learned. So now when I use it, that's a play and a stop. Beautiful. We can do the same thing for recording. So again, we go to Soundbridge right here, record and immediately select this, learn, press record and that's done. That's learned already. Look at that. Now I want to learn the stop button as well. Go there, right here, stop. And there's the stop button. And now I just learn, press that button once, and that's done. Play, record, stop. So far, you could have just learned the CC, so continuous controllers, that will be any faders or knobs. Now you can use buttons or notes to trigger any mappable functionality in Soundbridge. Another feature connected closely to the play functionality is if we go to the preferences and to the sequencer, we now have the option to resume playback from last start position. And that is how Soundbridge usually behaves. But if we now disable that, and this is going to be new, is if we now play, and once we stop and play again, it will just continue playing from where it stopped. So as if this was a pause scenario. So if you want Soundbridge to behave the way it did, you will keep this enabled, and it will always start playing from the stream position where you actually manually position the playhead, but if you turn it off, it will always start playing from wherever it stopped. This feature is premium, so you will need an active subscription or a lifetime license in order to use it. Another sought after feature that users asked for repeatedly was how to record the metronome. And since you couldn't before, we added a feature where in the inputs menu, you can actually find the metronome right there. So if you select metronome, you will be able to record the metronome. I'm going to solo this track. I'm gonna just press record. And you can see that the metronome is being recorded. Even though it's not enabled, you can record it as an audio file right there. So you can record the metronome, export and use it for a live gig performance or whatever else you need it for. And last but not least, a feature that I really wanted to see, let me expand on all these audio tracks. If you look at all of these, sometimes the value of the amplitude is really low, you can't see the waveform. We added this premium feature where you can actually scale the waveform like that. So this does not affect the gain of the audio, this just zooms in to the waveform. 
So it's easier to maybe make cuts or any kind of manipulation, which would require you to see the waveform more clearly. This too is a premium feature, so you will need a subscription or a lifetime license to use it. If you want to see the list of all the changes and bug fixes we've made to both Soundbridge and Rhythmix, you can read all about it on the release notes page on our website. Have fun using Soundbridge.